We continue our discussion of function words and we know that one of the types of function words is auxiliary words and we have seen some of the auxiliaries, auxiliaries in the previous lecture and today we look at uh, yet another auxiliary verb that is have and of course we have to understand different forms of have and of course the many uses of the auxiliary have. In fact, the forms, when we think of the forms of uh, the auxiliary have, we understand that it has three forms. That is, have, has, had. Okay? So, these three forms of have are used in different contexts for different purposes in different tenses. Uh, let's just understand each of the uses of uh, have in this particular lecture. So, the first use of have is to form the present perfect tenses when the subject is plural. So, the first thing we have to understand is that have the auxiliary is used with plural subjects. Similarly, it is also used with the first person pronoun I. So, we, we say that uh, I have uh, done this. I have gone there. Okay, so that is of course right, the first person pronoun, right? So not always in the plural, not always with the plural subject, but uh, it is sometimes or other, this is one important uh, rule, that is with first person pronoun I, in the present perfect, it is always have. We say, I have read the book, I have written a story, I have seen the film, I have watched the film, I have collected the material. All right, all this is present perfect tense with the first person pronoun I. And now we have to understand that it is used in the present perfect tense again with the subject which is of course plural and we say many men have escaped many men have escaped many men have escaped right so have is the auxiliary verb we discuss and it is right escaped right so with have escaped it becomes present perfect tense and we understand that have is used because it is plural the subject is plural many men have escaped boys have played they have completed the work all right so in all this we have have plus past participle form of the verb that is the present perfect tense right and now we move on to the second form of have that is has when do we use has and we understand that has is used to form the present perfect tense when the subject is singular. All right, this is very important. It's again used. Second form of have that is has is used in the present perfect tense to form, of course, uh, different sentences when the subject is singular. And we see he has completed the project. He has completed the work. He has finished the task, right? He is singular and uh, the tense is of course present perfect and we say he has completed the work. Similarly, we can say Mary has painted the wall. John has painted the portrait. All right, in all this we have uh, the use of has and we understand that has is used to form present perfect tense when the subject is singular. Okay, we say uh, Alex has uh, written a letter. Alex has written a letter. Okay, similarly we say Gobi has completed his work. Okay, or rather we say Gida has cooked the pudding. All right, all right. So, in all this, we have uh, the use of has, the auxiliary. Now, we move on to the third form of have, that is H-A-D, 
had and let us see use the uh, auxiliary had in different sentences we say when I reached the station the train had left when I reached the station the train had left when the police arrived the thieves had already escaped right in all these two sentences we can see the use of had and we understand that had is used in the past perfect tense had is used in the past perfect tense and look at the example when i reached the station the train had left so had is used in the past perfect tense and it is used to show an action that happened earlier that uh, we have two actions and right we are referring to the first action all right with the help of uh, hand and we say by the time the police arrived the thieves had escaped right by the time the police arrived the thieves had escaped right so the escaping of uh, the escape of the thieves took place first and of course when we have two activities the first action is indicated with the help of uh, the auxiliary hand that is of course uh, the tense that is the press the past perfect tense is used right so uh, these are the important uses of have the auxiliary the three forms of have have has had have is used to form the present perfect tense had is used to form the past perfect tense and has is used to form the present perfect tense when the subject is singular all right now with this we can just wind up today's uh, 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 session thank you so much for listening may god bless you